generations, Morning Colors has been conducted at every military establishment across the nation and around the world to remind us not only of our full-fledged commitment to this nation, but also to the sacrifices of its service members who have given their lives in its defense. Just as we carry out this sacred ritual today, so too did Camp Lejeune's founders under the leadership of Lieutenant Colonel William P.T. Hill, who on May 1st, 1941, began executing his orders to, quote, build, equip, and begin operating a Marine Corps base capable of training a full division of Marines. Camp Lejeune and Onslow County have come a long way since September 1941, when the 1st Marine Division set up camp in the middle of a sandy pine forest along the Atlantic seaboard. Units have trained and deployed around the globe to keep the peace and fight wars. A tobacco barn, farmhouse, and temporary tent cities have grown into a 244 square mile premier military training facility. A bond has grown among the Marines, sailors, Coast Guardsmen, family members, military retirees, and civilians who have planted the seeds that are making Onslow County grow at an unprecedented rate. The Camp Lejeune story began in 1940. World War II had been raging in Europe for more than a year, and military planners were posturing forces for America's imminent entry into the fight. The need for an East Coast amphibious training facility was answered as the Department of the Navy purchased an initial 110,000 acre tract of land. With close proximity to ports at Wilmington and Moorhead City, Lejeune was a logistical gem. When planners added the remote pine forest and miles of beach, the value of Camp Lejeune as a home training base for Marines was unbeatable. On April 5, 1941, Congress authorized over $14 million for the construction of the base. On May 1, 1941, Lieutenant Colonel William P.T. Hill was ordered by the 17th Commandant, Lieutenant General Thomas Holcomb, to establish and assume command of the base, then known as Marine Barracks New River, North Carolina. Hill and Quartermaster Brigadier General Seth Williams were instrumental in the layout and design of the base. Hill's original headquarters was located at Monfort Point in August 1942. It was moved to Building 1 at Hadnot Point, where it remains today. Near the end of 1942, the base was named Marine Barracks Camp Lejeune in honor of the 13th Commandant and Commanding General of the 2nd Army Division in World War I, Major General John A. Lejeune. Camp Lejeune's value to the Corps in World War II was evident through the contributions of Marines trained or based here. In 1944, it was renamed Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune. The value of this land to the Marine Corps has grown over the years as men and women have trained to fight wars in the Pacific Islands, Korea, Vietnam, Kuwait, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Camp Lejeune has also proven invaluable for the training and deployment of Marines for such actions as peacekeeping in Lebanon, tactical recovery of aircraft and personnel missions, drug interdiction missions, and a host of non-combatant evacuation operations. The idea of special operations capable Marine Expeditionary Units was born at Camp Lejeune and Marines here continue to make strides towards the future of warfare in such areas as urban and riverine operations. Camp Lejeune and the satellite facilities at Camp Geiger, Camp Johnson, Courthouse Bay, Stone Bay, and the Greater Sandy Run Training Area have an historic value that goes beyond their national strategic importance. To help prepare warfighters for combat and humanitarian missions abroad, Camp Lejeune takes advantage of 156,000 acres, 11 miles of beach capable of supporting amphibious operations, 34 gun positions, fifty tactical landing zones, three state-of-the-art training facilities for urban operations, and 
80 live fire ranges to include the Greater Sandy Run training area. Military forces from around the world come to Camp Lejeune on a regular basis for bilateral and NATO-sponsored exercises.